All right, I am on location. I got the Rocky Mountain Element C50 right behind me, I'm about to unload it. Just got done from a hard day's work. I'm about to take all my frustrations out on the trail. I am a little nervous. I was deciding whether I want to take it on a cross country style or loop or just do the old trusty first ride review where I take it down Culvert, uh, Stonewall, and Rocky. These are some Black Diamond chunk and nasty stuff. A little nervous, maybe, because I haven't made a video in a minute. And this is a 120, 130 millimeter cross country bike, and I'm taking it down some um, pretty heavy duty trails. So. Let me get changed up. Let me say my prayers and hope for the best and get down this trail in one piece. So let's get after it. <laughs> All right, brand new first ride climb this is my first climb on the new my new rocky mountain element it's a c50 size large on the climbs very i'd say i want to say it's not a surprise i haven't ridden it enough but um one thing i did notice right away on the flatter section the spike motors it's like almost effortless this thing screams to go faster and faster and that input at the pedals really translates quickly to the rear wheel so i thought that was awesome um, I did notice on the rear, it was a little bit, I want to say more plush feeling um, with your input. I don't want to say it was bogging me down like you would like an enduro bike where you find that bobbing is slowing you down or zapping energy. Almost like a more of a springy feeling, if that even makes sense, but I didn't hate it. Talking back to the, the feel of the bike, comfort wise, it feels like a trail bike feels long it's more slack admittedly i don't know what's what position it's in out of the four positions i will figure it out and post it and let you know but it felt comfortable the reach was great the 780 bars felt perfect for this bike um, just the positioning in the saddle not too steep because i have ridden some that felt a little bit more steep where you're a little bit too forward and then something more slack being a cross-country bike generally they are a bit more on the slack more slacker seat tube angle side like our Epic Evo where you get more of a racy position. This bike I feel like strikes a great balance right in the middle. Um, the XT, I'm really digging the XT, the double downshift, something I've missed. I like that trigger shift. I've been riding a lot of SRAM. I will give SRAM the edge on crisp of crisp, crispness of shifting, but Shimano's uh, shifting under load is great. As you see it, ready to ride with the bottle cage. I have a tanless tubeless armor out back, laminate, laminex protection tape throughout. I even fashioned my own down to protector at the bottom. Tubeless, size large, out of the box with pedals. I got tag metals, T1 uh, composite pedals, 29.74 pounds. I thought that was a little disappointing. Um, just because, you know, nothing's better than a light bike, I think. Um, but I have seen reports of the size large in the highest build for this around the low 25 pounds. So, but you're looking at quite a bit more money for that bicycle. So um, I'm about to slap it down these, some black diamonds and some swoopy fun stuff. So let's get on it and see how our first downhill goes. All right, first downhill, first jump. Woo, boom, whoa. Oh, all right, here we go. Another whoop de woo. Whoa, all right. All right, so into some swoops here. Uh oh, got some rattling. I do not like that. Run that might be the bars. Oh, nice. This thing is definitely poppy as you would expect. I did read some reports that maybe not as pop as you'd expect for an XC bike, but you know, it is a 1231 wheelbase. So I think our Epic Evo is like 1180 or something like that. So. Oh yes, not too shab. All right, first the drop, couple feet, bam. Got caught up a little bit there, not the bike's fault. Uh, 
another drop here. Let's see if I can just take it. I'm gonna roll it slightly. Boom! Oh, no. We'll just drop it, I guess. A little more support. Hop! Uh, this is definitely a brake testing section. No problem yet. jammed up there. All right, we're gonna dip into Rocky Trail, some Black Diamond. Pretty difficult trail. I would say it's pushing a double black for us bikers because it is so chunky and loose. And uh, 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 Yeah, admittedly, I've not been riding this trail as much as I used to, so definitely lost a step or two. But you definitely got to keep moving and grooving. All right. First ride wrap up Rocky Mountain Element C50. Blown away. I'm not. It's not I know it's cliche. I'm like, oh, this bike does everything great. I did a lot of hard things very well for a 120, 130 millimeter bike. Like I didn't feel undergunned on any of these trails. Aside from Rocky, of course, that trail, I mean, it's really rocky and it's chunky, unpredictable. It's gotten worse the last few years. Finding a line there is hard at best. So not going to knock it. It's a, a cross country. It's labeled cross country on Rocky's website. So it is a cross country bike. So I'm going to say for a cross country bike and early, early, early call out. This thing is bad. I love it. Um, climbing is great. Downhill is, I'm in its category, it's excellent. Comfort feels great. Great seat tube angle, great head tube, 65 degree, depending where it's at. You know, you can go from anywhere 65.8 to all the way down to 65 for a very cross country bike. Phenomenal. Um, again, efficiency was great. The rear shock did have a little bit of bob. Only time I locked it out or felt I needed to lock it out, I was on this long, horrible road climb nobody loves. Um, but that might just purely for my mind. Um, as far as the spec on it, again, early, I loved it. The rear shock, of course, got really hot on some of the, the downhills. There's a fast, chunky, just fast stuff. It's 82, 83 degrees today. I felt a little warmer than that, but... I didn't, you know, I did feel a little bit a fade, just a hair. Um, it did, um, I did find the bottom, but I didn't feel the bottom out, I guess, if that makes sense. The front, the 34 fork, excellent on this bike. It performed great. Um, the drivetrain, very nice. I love the XT, uh, the SLX rear sprocket, the cassette in the back. No problems with it. Cockpit, great. The one gripe I will say, and it's one ride, I I think I'm just going to be the recon tires. I think if you are somebody who's looking for something that you can get more aggressive on, this might be an area you're going to want to uh, grab something a little bit more knobby. 29.74 pounds for our large, ready to go. Um, kit it up. Man, I'm... I'm loving the bike. So stay tuned. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow, check us out on Instagram. Steal some old stuff on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok, but we got some old stuff there. And then again, thanks you guys for watching. If you any questions about the bike, anything for me to look out, anything, period, feedback, constructive criticism, whatever, let us know down below and look forward to seeing you on the next ride on my next slap lap. Peace.